guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So a few days ago, I made a video where I shared three of the biggest things I did in 2022 that I feel really, really hurt and negatively impacted my channel in a way that really just made my channel overall underperform and really have kind of a stall in growth. And in that video, I mentioned that one of the biggest things I did that really, really impacted my channel was to be super inconsistent with my uploads. And honestly, I was really, really taken aback by all the comments on that video because there were just so many of you guys who expressed the exact same thing, the exact same struggle and problem. So it would seem that overall 2022 was a year of inconsistency for a lot of creators. And like me, a lot of you guys are looking to remedy that in 2023 and be a lot more consistent with your channels. So I thought for today's video, I would sit down here and share with you guys the three biggest things I'm doing in 2023 to hopefully be a lot more consistent with my channel. So the first really big thing that I think is really, really going to help me is that this year going into 2023, I'm going to be a lot more focused on a filming schedule rather than an upload schedule. This I definitely think is one of the most common pieces of advice that you hear on YouTube, that if you want to be super consistent with YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or a blog, you need to have an uploading or posting schedule. That you need to know exactly what days and times you are posting or uploading so that you are a lot more likely to actually stick to those times. However, what I've personally found already to be a lot more practical and more productive is actually doing the complete reverse of that and having a filming schedule rather than an upload schedule. When I am sitting down the night before and writing out my to-do list and my priorities chart for the next day, I can actually set a specific time block to sit down and film a video rather than having some kind of a deadline floating around there in my weekly calendar that I have to eventually get to. I definitely do think that by having a filming schedule, you sort of automatically have an upload schedule because if I know that I'm filming on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, then I know I'm a lot more likely to actually upload on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's basically having the exact same goal in mind, just having what is for me a much more practical and productive way of achieving it and having an actual intention I can physically track. Like I said in that other video, a lot of my inconsistency in 2022 just came from having so much going on in my personal life and perceiving myself to really not have any time to be creating. But looking back now, I definitely do think that if I'd had an actual filming schedule and had actual time blocked to sit down and film videos, if I had better planned and organized my daily to-do list and priorities chart, I definitely think I could have made it. So going into 2023, I definitely think that having my filming schedule is going to make me a lot more consistent. Now, another very common root cause of inconsistency in creators is very simply just not knowing what to create or post. I cannot even tell you guys how many times I was so ready to just sit down and film a new video, but I had absolutely no idea what to film or even a little bit of inspiration for an idea. And then by the time I finally do come up with a concept or an idea, I'm all out of time to film. So what may appear sometimes as inconsistency due to laziness or feeling unmotivated really just all comes down to that, which is not having any idea what to create. Now, I can totally make a whole separate video on some of the key methods I found for myself of coming up with a never-ending resource of video ideas and concepts, but I can definitely tell you guys that up until I very recently resolved this issue for myself, a lot of my inconsistency really came down to being all ready to sit down and film but having no idea what to film. So now I have organized a place to dump any and all ideas that are to be planned in the future. I have a whole other section where I've organized all of my video outlines that I have planned and ready to sit down and film. And I've definitely gone into the habit now of whenever I sit down the night before to write out my to-do list and my priorities list for the next day, rather than writing in my to-do list, film a YouTube video, now I get a whole lot more specific and in my to-do list, I write film video about consistency on YouTube. It just gives me such a peace of mind to wake up in the morning and start to go through my to-do list and my plan for the day, knowing that my video is already pre-planned and outlined, all I need to do is just grab the video, sit down, and film it. 
So I can definitely attest that creating all of these organizational and planning systems has already made such a dramatic difference on my consistency of uploads and just overall feeling on top of things. Just coming from a place where even like a month ago, I had no idea what to be creating with my channel. And now even in just the last week, I have over 30 new video ideas. This is just such a more inspiring and motivating feeling. So I think both of those systems in 2023 is really gonna help me to be a lot more consistent and stay that way. Now, another thing that we have to remember about consistency, not only on YouTube, but in social media as a whole, is that consistency does not begin and end with how often and when you post. A huge part of consistency in social media is having a strong consistency in your branding. And one hack I've come to find very, very useful for myself is to envision your entire audience as one single person. By now, most of you guys know my absolute disdain for the word niche and niches and niching down, putting yourself in a box as a creator and restricting your content. A lot of you guys know how I feel about all the toxicity that comes with niching down, and I personally think this is a much healthier concept. Whenever I sit down to film a video or upload a video, no matter what video it is, no matter what the context or concept is, no matter which of my viewers are watching and what their demographic is, I know that I'm creating this video with the intent of sharing my knowledge, my experience, inspiration, information with other content creators looking to grow their platform and build their dream life. Just having that vision, that branding, that overall goal that I keep coming back to, that helps tremendously with finding video ideas, refocusing when I have a lapse in motivation, and just everything overall in general. So if you feel like inconsistency with your YouTube channel, your Instagram, TikTok or blog is something that you are struggling with, just take some time to sit down and revisit your vision. Maybe it needs a little bit of a refresh or a refocusing. This is definitely something I've been struggling a lot with in the last year, as I mentioned in that other video. And giving myself that little bit of a refresh has really, really helped me to snap back into it, refine my vision, refine my goals, refocus my attention, and become a whole lot more inspired and motivated and consistent. So yes, absolutely you definitely want to be extremely consistent with your uploading and posting on your chosen platform, but also you want to be really, really consistent with your branding and the content that you're putting out there so that you are growing consistently and growing your audience. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. Those are the three biggest hacks I think are going to be really, really helpful in the new year when it comes to consistency. As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!